Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, today's video will be about how to change a dirt bike seat cover. So I'll be doing my uh, seat cover for my RMZ250, but the uh, same process is for like all dirt bike seats. Uh, tools that I'll be using is a small flat tip screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and a staple gun. And if this doesn't have enough power to go through the plastic, um, then I have this just small electric one. But I've had really good luck with these guys before, so I'm going to try to use this. So step one will be to remove the all the staples and take the old cover off. Okay, so to remove the seat cover, I'm just going to get the small flat tip screwdriver and get it under these staples. A little bit tricky sometimes, and just pull one side up and just keep on going. And then after that's all done, I'll take the needle nose and just pop them all out. First, I'll just go all the way around with the flat tip screwdriver. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna put the screwdriver away, get the needle nose, won't be needing a screwdriver anymore, and uh, just take it, pop them out, just like that. All right, that was the last one, so just take off the cover now. Pretty messy under there. All right, that's gonna take some time to dry out. Yikes. I'm gonna reuse the foam. It looks decent shape, but I'm gonna have to let it dry out. So this video is gonna be have to be finished later. Okay, so it's been a couple days. I got the seat cover dried out or the seat dried out. Um, I'm gonna start putting on the new cover now. I already put a temporary staple right there just to hold the front on. It's gonna be kind of hard to get a good footage of this because the seat's gonna be all over the place, but. I'll try to get the best I can, so I'm sorry if it's not the best, but I'm just gonna, I already got the staple in here, so I'm gonna put a temporary staple back here in the back here, and then just start holding it over and taking out staples where it's loose and putting staples where it needs to be tighter, just kind of going like that, so that's what I'll be doing. All right, so I had to do quite a bit of off-camera work. Um, the hardest part of getting the seat cover on without any ripples right here is to get this area right here really tight and uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it just all has to be like in a certain place and if it's not in a certain place then it, you're gonna have ripples here. So I had about 20 minutes of trying. I finally got it to not get any ripples here. So uh, I'm just gonna continue and pull this over and staple and then this side and then just kind of get these ripples out and then just go all along, do a whole bunch of staples and then cut off the rest of the fabric with a razor blade. So that's what I'll be doing here.
Okay, so all the staples, you know, they're all pretty much temporary right now, so they don't have to be all the way in, they don't have to be real neat. I'll probably end up finishing off the staples with the electric gun, since uh, this plastic's really, really hard, so that one will do a little bit better job getting the staples all the way in. And the seat design right here, it's really kind of a small area right here, and so it's hard to uh, get the bigger gun in here, so I'll just use the electric one. And for these corners back here, um, I like just kind of folding it like that and just kind of like bunching everything up and then putting like a staple in the middle. That's always worked good for me, so that's what I'll be doing here. All right, well, there's another little wrinkle that's developed right there, but I'm not gonna bother taking the staples out and redoing it, because that's the best I've had it so far for this whole uh, putting it on. So I'm just gonna finish up by putting a whole bunch of staples along here, mostly with the electric gun, uh, make things easy, but it is totally doable to do a whole seat cover with these uh, manual staple guns. You just gotta make sure you get the you gotta get the perfect angle to get the staple all the way in the plastic, and it's, it takes a little bit longer, but totally doable. So, yeah, I'm just gonna finish up and put staples in it. All right, that's not too bad right there. I'm gonna like how this looks on the bike. So now I'm just gonna trim all this floppy stuff off and um, that'll be good. All right, that should be good. When you're uh, cutting it, make sure it just the, it can slide into the frame. So there's the gas tank uh, slide in, there's the subframe. And here's the bolt-on points. Make sure those are all clear and then you're all good to go. So there's the finished result. Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate uh, you choosing to watch this video over the other seat cover videos. Hope you learned something new and you're uh, ready to tackle one for yourself. Uh, if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate your support. If you're not, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and possibly uh, thinking on subscribing. Uh, just let me know what kind of videos you guys like. I know a couple of my part restoration videos have gone up in the, I think one's over 300 views now, so thanks for that guys. And just let me know um, if you guys want to see more of those part restoration videos. I have a whole bunch of parts that need restored that I, I do most of them off camera, but if you guys want to see those, I could set up my camera and film myself doing that. I'll be posting another video about my uh, RMZ 250. Um, probably next weekend or midweek uh, next week. I've been pretty busy lately, so haven't been able to work on it all that much. But uh, yeah, this just kind of holding me up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do a video on it about how to polish aluminum to a really, really shiny, you know, like mirror-like finish. I found out a little, little secret to uh, like get it to a mirror, mirror finish without using any power tools or anything. So it's pretty sweet. Want to share that with you guys. So that'll be it for this video, um, just stay safe and uh, enjoy the rest of the videos on my channel, Have uh, that's my sixth now, so thanks for watching those videos and see you guys later.